Hello ladies, I am doing today my hair video. This is the one for my natural mad summer curls. It's not one I do every year and by the time winter comes around I'm thinking I need something with more structure. But when I've generally gone away from holiday and I usually go away in July, and I come back and I'm in London in August and I'm just sort of thinking, I don't wanna have all the faff, so what can I do to give my hair that month of not too much heat on it and at the same time not feel like I'm that frizzy woman that I remember from my youth when I didn't put straighteners on it. So, first step, don't use a towel. Think about the fact that a towel gives friction to hair, and, and I don't know about you, but I will usually, when I dry my hair, I'll put the towel over and I'll go and that kind of gives friction. So somebody, a lovely woman who does my hair, John Frieda, said to me, I use a um, t-shirt fabric because there's not too much fluff in it. So I've got my hair on a t-shirt fabric at the moment, that's why I look like one of those little um, children's cartoons, and I'm just pressing it to get rid of the excess um, wet and when I was um, washing my hair I washed it just so you know with um, uh, Kerastase I use two at the moment I either use Kerastase um, Defense shampoo with Lixia mask or I use Josh Wood brunette shampoo with um, the everything mask which is fantastic so my hair I'll brush it in the shower with um, an Aveda brush um, when I'm doing the conditioner, but then I will not brush it again because what I want to do is very soon after it's wet to remember its natural sense of curl. So here it is, just its little thing. And I'm going to try now, because you can see already there's that natural curl, but it's obviously not a good natural curl. So the first product I'm gonna put in is, uh, I'm gonna put three products in. I'm gonna put a product in called Be Curly. Now, I was using two products before you might have seen an earlier video, which was Style Prep from Aveda, and then Be Curly afterwards, but I'm gonna try a slightly different regime today. It might not work, we'll see. Um, but I'm gonna do a Be Curly that much, um, and I'm gonna just sort of put it through the hair. Just kind of haphazardly put it through the hair, like that. Um, and my hair at the end, because I've been this summer uh, in sea and salt and sun, so it's a little bit dry at the end. I got back, I had a tiny trim, but it's slightly longer than the winter, and I'm thinking I need to put an extra bit of conditioner on it. When I condition my hair in the summer, I don't um, wash out all of the conditioner because I've got such porous hair from a lot of color on it, uh, especially at the ends, that I just don't want that to be um, I just don't want it to be dry and straw-like. So I've done that. Then I'm gonna put um, Nexus. It's quite a new one for me, but I used this 10 years ago, and this is their emergency reconstructive cream. It's a leave-in cream. So I'm just gonna put a bit at the ends. You could do an oil here. SP have a really great oil, but I find that oil, um, I can't bear the smell of it. People at my salon, oh, this one also has a bit of a smell. I don't, think, I don't like things too sweet or pungent. But anyway, I'm gonna put that in like that. That's there. Then, Color Wows. First time I'm properly using it, not with the salon. So their instructions are liberally, 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 liberally spray, um, liberally spray, uh, until you've got it soaking. So I'm gonna just liberally spray. Liberally spray, liberally spray. Dream coat comes, I think there's curly hair and there's a normal one. But the purpose of the one for curly hair is to give you great curls which um, aren't frizzy. And so the Aveda product has a wheat protein in it which actually is meant to make your curl, make your hair remember its natural state of curl. Dream Coat has in it tons of ingredients. I'm gonna list them at the end, but I just especially, I'll tell you where especially I need this. At the back here, my hair is broken off a bit around here and it's very dry, so I'm just gonna liber liberally spray that as well. The word liberal makes me get so carried away with product. So it's very, very wet now, but this is okay. You gotta have time to do this, ladies. You gotta have time to do this because I don't wanna do too much with the diffuser today. So now, got it like that. So then what um, lovely 
Mr. G, let's call him, who blow dries my hair when we tried this last week. He sort of took a bit like that, which is liberally sprayed. Okay, and he just twisted it. So it kind of took it between his fingers and then twisted it. Twisted it like this, because I want my hair to curl, but I want it to curl in different directions. So I want to give it some kind of texture through this instead. Otherwise I'll go quite like this slightly Afro curl and I want something a little bit bigger too. So I might, these might be too small. I think he did them a little bit bigger. Let me just take a little slightly bigger chunk like that. I might take there and then I'm just going to turn this one and I just turn it in my hands like this um, and just have that there and just kind of slightly do that with the ends. And this means that if I ended up using the diffuser, my hair is sort of protected from the diffuser. And I did notice that when he did it compared to when I just liberally shoved the confuser, profu my language today, shoved the diffuser on it. This just gives, and I can feel my hair is very coated with this product. I'm just doing that, I've got those there. Oh, don't forget underneath. They did say this thing to me, don't forget underneath. So I'm just gonna, oh, it's so sticky now. I'm just really sticky. I'm all, I'm not sticky, but I'm slippery, I'm slippery. Okay, let me just. Liberally, 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 whole half bottle, I should think. Yeah, so they said this thing, don't forget the bottom and the underneath. And I think probably when you spray your hair, it could be you don't remember to do underneath. So um, get sections also that are close to each other. Like that. So it's quite good to push your hair away. So that's just like that. <laughs> twisty, 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 twisty. Here we go. Wisty, twisty. I tell you whilst we're doing this, that my hair at the moment is so thick. I was speaking to both... Greg, who's done my hair for ages, and Shannon, and Shasha, actually, at Trini London. Um, and, because Shasha and I are obsessed with having thick hair, thicker hair. And my hair got very, very thin when I was filming a lot and using straightening irons. That's why I say to my daughter, please don't use straightening irons, because that direct heat on the hair just kills it. Um, but I, I understand also the people's addiction. It's like bronzer. It gives you an immediate feel better feeling. So I so get it. But I also know from experience of having had my, you know, hair being done by so many people with the quick, efficient straightening iron. Um, I can see and understand why people want to do it. But it just does thin your hair. It does so many things to your hair. So my secret sauce at the moment, in terms of why my hair is much, much thicker than before, is I'm taking three things. I'm taking biotin, um, which I take two capsules in the morning and two in the evening. I take Solgar, whatever I can get my hands on, but I really take a lot of it. And I don't feel that it's bad for me to take. There are people who I trust in my life who are sort of scientists and they sort of say, there's not much contact, you know, uh, side effects but seek medical advice if you have any issues around anything um, then I take superior hair from Victoria Health I'll put all these supplements um, down at the bottom and I will also um, take um, Iconocell and Iconocell is also from Victoria Health and it's a sort of miracle product for growing everything, for making your skin better, for growing your your um, nails, for growing your hair, everything. It's It really is a, just a miracle, miracle thing. A Jill at Victoria Health also, who's um, about my age, a little bit older even, said her hair, which she, I think she'd never felt she had thick hair, I don't know, but she was like, my hair is so thick. I'm getting my hair colored at the moment every 10 days, it's growing that fast. And just to also show you on nails how well it's doing is that's a week of my nail growth and I cut them really low. I never put nail polish on them though, but look. And no white bits, weirdly. I, you know sometimes you get little white bits on your nails and it could be their calcium or something. Absolutely zero white bits. Um, okay, I'm going over the other side now. There we go. Getting that done. 
and there's a little there's a few little knots well not knots but just you know a little bit of wild hair but I'm just sort of trying to turn those get that get the rhythm ladies get the rhythm get the rhythm and then I'll show you how I'm gonna make a little height here because otherwise you will think I might all be flat at the end but I just at the moment want to protect that outer hair follicle that could be the one that's generally been the most damaged by um, by my overheating my hair. So once I've sorted that out, then I can get to other things. Okay. Just turn, turn, turn. I'm turning, I don't know if I'm turning back and front. I feel I'm turning back and front, but these ones, I think I might be just turning one direction. So you do want to be aware of changing the direction a bit. Um, Done. So I'll do this one going backwards. So I'll do that one going backwards. Backwards. So do backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. I'm in my I'm in my zone, aren't I? The lady at uh, John Frieda, she just lets her hair dry like this because she's working in a salon all day, so she doesn't have to worry about that sort of mid moment when you think I really can't go out like this. Um, and I do have to think about that, but because it's a Sunday today, I might just walk, all, walk all around all day. And I think the reason that, you know, a lot of our hair solutions are done because we just don't have time. But I think what's interesting about doing my hair this way is normally I would probably get my hair done every two or three days. And when I do take the time to do this in the summer, I don't have to do my hair for a week. It just stays, it's fantastic. It's nothing like our own hair behaving in the best way it can possibly behave when we don't need heat, too much heat on it. I want to try and take it out from the root of it here. This bit, take it up. So when I start twisting it, I'm sort of twisting it from above. I think that's gonna give me a better um, head of crown of hair. Well, sometimes what I have done in the past, but then this will take forever to dry, is I've sort of made some weird little thing like that to give it an extra curl. Um, and then here, do this bit, put that up again. I don't know if I'll put this left or right. So I'll just do like that there. Okay. So, I've got my little bits and you can just keep curling, keep just doing that. I've got so much wetness here, I might have to just dry off a tiny bit of the wetness. Um, really gentle, I'd like to do that. Thing. I've got it. Just, I'm not being aggressive. You know how I can get aggressive with my hair. lifting it up gently see I'm you can see that my curl lifting a little bit now I think I'm just getting out the wet the wet of it turn that a bit more these ones have just also come out a bit so I'm just going to turn those a bit more to make sure they're coated before I get the diffuser on. It's like they're little snakes I'm putting in the diffuser. I want to check I've done the back. It's very difficult to look at the back, see if you've done it correctly. Four, five. 
quite good to get inside and just dry that little bit inside my hair. I mean, nearer the root inside my hair, what am I saying? Yeah, I feel I don't want to do any more diffuser now, but I could do some twisting. That's fine, I can just keep my twisting. There's no harm there, keep my twisting. So I'm gonna go around the house. I'm going to, I'm gonna go away for three days to Italy. So I'm gonna pack for that and then I'll um, come back and we can have a look and we can still have a look and keep doing it and, you know, watch that clock move forward. But so far, it's been 17 minutes, all right? Not a killer. So you could just be walking around your house now on a Sunday for two or three hours, not caring and you're not seeing anyone. It's not the most practical way to do it. And if you didn't have so much time, do the diffuser all the way, which I have actually done a post on. But I'm gonna try this method today because it's my new method and I want to see how it works. Okay, speak later. Okay, so I'm halfway through. I've just been having such a good tidy up. And I, I don't know if you noticed this summer, I just cut a bit of hair randomly because I had it all on my head and it was really dry, so I just cut it, so I just realized how short it is. So I'm twisting these backwards and they're twisting quite nice. You can see the color of my hair is changing. So it is beginning to work. Um, and I'm so tempted to use a few diffuser now because I want to show you with diffuser, but it's patience. I'm trying this new technique, which is no diffuser. Zero heat, zero heat. Tiny bit of heat, maybe. Little bit of heat, just like a fraction of heat. And then the ends here, I'm just trying to clean up because I don't want them to be brittle. So I'm really twisting those a lot, getting the oil of my hand on them so they don't go too dry. So that one's, that's turning well. That should give me hope that I don't need to use um, heat. <laughs> should give me hope. So if I separated this one out now, it's gonna be nice because they look weird now. They look like sort of ringlets, but um, it, they will go out. I'm slightly worried of drying it too much like this. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do the diffuser because I want to do, I want to do my hair to be too flat. So I'm gonna do mid, mid blow. And then turn that And I'm, as I'm doing this, because I'm not sure you what I'm doing, I'm slightly mushing, so I'm going down like that. So I don't show my boobs. I'm slightly mushing. So I'm very aware as soon as I do it that, um... So you can begin to see that texture developing. It's going to work. I think it's going to work. I think I want the reassurance from two minutes of the diffuser to know that I'm going to be okay. It's just a patience game. It really is. I don't do two more than that, because otherwise I will, I know I'll get my hair over dried at the bottom. But it's coming and it feels soft. I think that's what I'm gonna love about the dream coat, is that lack of, you know that horrible when you feel your end and it feels brittle. So um, we'll see. But that's, that's quite nice there, that little, little bit curling. That little bit of texture developing. Um, yeah, and I'm going to go and watch some telly now. Just play like this when I'm watching telly. And I'll come back and see you whenever. And this, ladies, is the final bit. So I basically walked around a bit. I've used the diffuser, as you saw, for five minutes. I then went downstairs and watched a bit of telly. And when I was watching telly, just put it up like that so that it wasn't so flat against my head. But I've just got really nice texture and, um, and it doesn't feel at all crunchy. Um, and I could even, very carefully if you've got frizzy hair, take a brush and just the end bits, I might just, I've got a tiny bit of oil, um, but just have those to separate out the end bits 
very gently because I've got a lot of products still I really saturated with dream coat um, but I'm just I'm just gonna do you know where it can just look a little bit too curly um, like it's a perm and I don't particularly want to look like it's a perm I won't touch up there oh there there I go <laughs> there I go the more I brush it out the more it will sort of get frizzy but not too frizzy not too frizzy I'm just gonna have a little brush so there my hair 90% au naturel I've got to say dream coat combo with a little bit of be curly let me just show you um, what I used again so I put that on first be curly about a tablespoon no between teaspoon and tablespoon then I put this on the ends hadn't tried it before actually I used it years ago and then mainly I just saturated my hair with color wow um, I've got the name but dream coat for curly hair <sighs> So dopey today. But that's it. That's my how to get natural curls video. And I and then during the week, um, I might just, you know what I might do if I remember. This might be the last bit of the video you're going to see. But I'd love to in two or three days come back here and try and film and show you how my hair is because there's a definite, which is the more natural you dry your hair. Um, if you have this kind of slightly frizzy textured hair like mine, the longer it will last between shampoos and as long as you're not going near smelly cigarettes or a burning piece of toast or whatever. And then sometimes what I do do is I get an essential oil, a lavender or a neroli, and I just do that in my hair just to make sure the smell is nice because if I don't wash my hair for a week, I still want it to smell somewhat fragrant. Okay. Voila.